God's blessings to you as we enter the heart of summer and continue our ongoing life-giving journey with Jesus. As we share this time together, I pray the Spirit might stir within each of us a greater desire to come to know the God of love, beauty, mercy, justice, and peace. May this reflection spiritually feed you, that you may better honor God's love and faithfulness to you in the ways that you faithfully care for yourself and for others. My sisters and brothers, hospitality seems to be a central theme arising from the heart of this coming Sunday's readings. The first reading from Genesis presents the wonderful story of Abraham, a wandering Bedouin merchant sitting in his tent. God appears to him in the form of three strangers who he insists stay with him and his wife Sarah, that they may feed them for their continued journey. The three bless Abraham and Sarah for their goodness for them and predict that Sarah, unable to have children, will indeed be pregnant upon their return. True hospitality is life-giving. The generosity of spirit of substance to three strangers creates a space for the seemingly impossible to happen. God makes a way out of no way. In the Gospel, we are shown two forms of hospitality through two sisters, Martha and Mary. Jesus has visited their home. There are likely other visitors there, and Martha feels the need to feed their guests. Mary, however, has chosen instead to sit at the Lord's feet and converse with him. It is a radical move on her part, since women were not by custom allowed to participate in such conversations reserved to men. Martha is upset that her sister has done this and appeals to Jesus to tell Mary that she should be in the kitchen helping her. Jesus, however, tells Martha that Mary has chosen the better part of hospitality, which is spending time with the guest and getting to know them. Notice that Jesus does not chastise Martha, suggesting she should stop what she's doing. What he is saying is that hospitality is not just nourishing someone with food, but also, often most importantly, nourishing them with your presence, with the gift of time, attentive, attentiveness, curiosity, with a genuine expression that their guest's presence and personhood is valued. As parishes in Chicago are merging, there is a great need to assure that everyone feels welcomed and included. This requires what we call radical hospitality, hospitality rooted in the love of God, hospitality extended in multiple ways to bring merging communities together in relationship building. There is a need to evangelize each other, understanding the meaning of evangel evangelizing, which is to share the good news of life-giving, life-sustaining relationship found in a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. To evangelize is both to share good news and to be good news. We need, like Mary, to sit at the Lord's feet to strengthen our relationship with Jesus. We do this through prayer, meditation, and reading and reflecting on the scriptures. We also need to be like Martha, doing the necessary work of providing the sustenance that can nourish body, mind, and spirit. Hospitality rooted in the spirit of Jesus, a spirit of welcome, compassion, and a desire to heal and strengthen bodies, minds, and spirits is the hospitality we should always do our best to provide. On behalf of the Catholic Christian family here at St. Agatha, and on behalf of our sister parish, St. Marta Porus, I want to thank you for the many ways that you continue to allow the Lord to work through you, with you, and in you. Please join our celebrations this Sunday at 8 a.m. in person here at St. Agatha, or online, or at 10.30 Mass in person. Either in person or online, we welcome your participation in our community prayer of praise and thanksgiving. Please share this video with others on Facebook. It is a great way for you to participate in evangelization and spreading the good news. Thank you for all the ways that you allow the Lord to work through you, with you, and in you. And my friends, in all things, be blessed.